spiritual guidance of the priest. Yung spiritual director nila, nina-assign ng obispo, uy, sila ang mag-direct, sila ang mag-lead. Hmm. Instead, ang pare ang mag-lead sa kanila. are the three points in discerning private revelation. Yan ang tatalakayin natin sa gabing ito. Si Christopher Navarro. Good evening, Father Darwin! <laughs> God bless! Nanood sa atin si Almonte Silvio Cusina. Uh, good morning, Father Dar- uh, Good evening, Father Darwin. Si Jameson Kurig. You know, nanood sa atin. Mm, praise the Lord. Alleluia. Uh, si TZ Florentin. Si Jocelyn Dumapias, nanood sa atin. Si Tomas, Tomasa Belisario, nanood din sa atin. Si Prisinia uh, Coleman, si Bernard Ibarzabal, si Angeli Montreal, uh, Maricho is uh, uh, Takyo, Maria Ferro Redocindo, uh, Yeraline Ilik itul, no? <laughs> so, nanood sa atin ngayon. Salamat po. Nakapasok po kayo, Father. no? So, ngayon, uh, marami din nanonood sa atin sa sa live, sa YouTube channel natin. At si... So, ngayon, mga kapatid, basic guidelines lang ito. Meron tatlo po. Mm. Unang-una, the first point of the inquiry is centered on the person of the visionary or mystic. Unang i-evaluate natin yung moral person sa sa tao na naging visionary. Unang natin i-evaluate. Kailangan po yun. O, pangalawa na point is itong tinatawag na the, the, the second point of inquiry has to do with the manner of communication. Paano nila kinukommunicate ito? Pangatlo is the third point of inquiry has to do with revelation itself yung mga mensahe di ba contradictory sa sa mensahe sa official teaching ng simbahan una tayo sa first point mga kapatid mm, the first point of inquiry para ito yung pinaka basic no guidelines of uh, uh, in discerning Mm, private revelation, yung mga messages, locutions, gano'n. Dahil marami kayong, marami ngayon na nakatanggap tayo ng mensahe sa panaginip, oh, galing ba sa Diyos? Ano ba yung paraan ng simbahan? Mayroong uh, tatlo, the three points in discerning private revelation with the guidance and with the uh, light of the book of Father Sikia po, ating idol. <laughs> so una, What are his natural qualities? Una, sa person, yung visionary. I-evaluate pala yon. Yan po ang i-examine natin. What are his natural qualities and both positive and negative? Check the state of his body and mind. What also his moral qualities? Kailangan din yung state of uh, the mind. No? Baka, ano? may hereditary na ganito, psychological illness. As this person has been known to be sincere, cool, heated, and sound judgment, being guided by reason, not by impressions. So, kailangan yung tao not guided by impression, not by guided by emotion, not guided by feeling, but guided by reason. Oh, sound reason. Una, sincere ba itong tao dito? Uh, mahinahon ba? Sound ba yung judgment niya? Isa yan sa mga uh, dapat i-consider. So, it is all about inquiry of the person of the visionary or mystic. Yung binigyan ng mga mensahe ng mga anghel, mga santo, uh, sa Panginoon. Sa Diyos Ama, Diyos Anak, Diyos Espiritu Santo. Yan po. So, patuloy tayo. Morals, morally speaking, what virtues does this person possess? 
Ano ba yung mga virtues? Di ba mga virtues? Meron tayong theological virtues. May cardinal virtues. Research natin ha. Yung theological virtues, faith, grabe lumalim yung pananampalataya. Yung hope, puno siya ng pag-asa. Uh, yung charity, puno siya ng pag-ibig. Yung theological virtues. Itong cardinal virtues. Hmm, meron din tayong cardinal uh, virtues. Hmm, cardinal uh, virtues. Apat po ito. Hmm, sa Catholic Church. Tingnan natin. Yung cardinal virtues o oh, justice. Hmm. Nagbibigay ba yan ng hostisya sa Diyos at sa, is, uh, sa kapwa? Prudence. Yung prudence is uh, right reason in action. Yung, yung prudence. Yung ginagawa ba niya yung sinasabi niya? Temperance. No? It is all about uh, moderation. And fortitude. Meron ba siyang lakas? Despite na hindi siya mawala ng pag-asa. Ano ba yung virtues na na-possess niya? Mm-mm. What the general level of his spiritual life from the standpoint of perfection, both before the revelation and afterwards. Ano ba yung spiritual life niya before sa revelation? Kung meron siyang revelation, nagbago ba siya? Tumubo ba yung spiritual life niya? Baka naging masungit. No? Baka lalong tumaray. No? Lalong mapag, uh, mapagtaas. No? Yan po. Dedicado po yan. Okay? Si Father Pauline S.J. Society of uh, Jesus states that if before the re- revelation was he was a person of scandalous conduct, it is not likely that God has chosen him as the recipient of his favors except for the purpose of his conversion. Oh, grabe yung scandalous yung kinabuhay niya. And then pakita pa yung demonyo, ang Diyos sa kanya. Unless, go for the sake of conversion. Pero hindi siya nung bago. mag-doubt ka na. Example, may isang uh, visionary. Uh, ang ganda ng mga messages niya. Rumusta yung pamilya niya. Sira. Um, broken family. Puno ng garret. Yung mga mga membro ng pamilya niya. Puno ng puot. Puno ng sama ng loob. Na delikado po yan. Mm-hmm. So, it is very important uh, this first point. The inquiry is centered on the person of the visionary or mystic. Na patuloy tayo. Mm-mm. It can also be that person is only mm, of ordinary virtue. Ordinary virtue when God uses him in order to found or start a pilgrimage or to just suggest some useful undertaking. For example, the three children of Fatima, important point according to Father Pauline, uh, is, Jay, is to know whether there has been much progress after the revelation. So, ordinary lang virtue niya. And then, sa pag... Uh, sa pag uh, uh, sa, during operation, after operation, uh, grabe yung... Ano, grabe yung sanctification. progress has been much progress after the revelation yan po ang sign na oh, galing nito sa Dios hmm. according to him if a great advance of sanctification has been noticed and if father this can be attributed to the revelation and not simply to other graces there is a strong probability is a subject's fever so yung missionary na ito it is special Like the three children, Fatima, oh Fatima, our little Fatima, Francisco, Asinta, and Lucia. So, grabe yung pagkabago sa kanilang, ano, grabe yung spiritual maturity nila. Grabe yung spiritual growth nila. Pero kita mo, parang hindi ah. Parang tumigas ang puso. Mm, mataas magsalita. Mm, napaglait. Hindi yan. Delikado po yan. Okay. But he adds, if one on the contrary, the seer of the vision has remained an ordinary level of virtue, his vision must be regarded with suspicion. So, kung hindi siya tumutubo sa kanyang spirituality, 
hindi tumutubo yung mga virtues sa buhay niya. Ordinary lang. Hmm. So, it should be uh, under suspicion. Okay. <clears throat> Paramount important is to be informed is the virtue of humility since it is the one most opposed to, to our nature and which Satan has the greatest horror. The virtue which Satan has the greatest horror is the virtue of humility. Satan has the greatest horror in the virtue of humility. Grabe. So, kung yung virtues niya, uh, one of the virtues na tumutubo sa kanya, grabe yung kanyang pagpakumbaba. Okay. According to the author, author, pride on the contrary is the mark of a jabolic. Yung visionary ay puno ng angas. No? Punong uh, ng pride. Yan po. It is the mark. It is the most essential mark of the of the jabulit. Ang sample, i- ikiha mo yung pare na <laughs> magsasabi sa iyo ng totoo. Delikado po yan. Show itself by an independent spirit with regard to superiors and directors. By obstinacy in one's opinion. By the refusal to submit to the necessary examination and by anger. So, kung i-question na yung, yung mga message nyo, magagalit na. Hmm. Kailangan hindi ako makikinig sa inyo. Tao lang kayo. Hindi na makikinig sa pare. Hindi na makikinig sa obispo. Hindi na makikinig sa Santo Papa. Doon ako makikinig sa, sa guide spirit ko. Hmm, delikado po yan. Okay. So, for example, the, in the Philippines, we may have a group led by supposed visionary. But then, when the diocesan bishop creates a commission to review it, the group's members react in arrogance and anger, believing themselves superior and above suspicion. So, su- superior sila. You know? When instructions are given by the bishop to regulate the group, and the members do not follow, stating that they know better, they know better, since they are being led by God Himself. Ang Diyos ang dapat sundin namin. Hindi ang obispo. Hindi ang pare. Ang Diyos lang. Hmm. The spiritual director given by the bishop to assist the group is forced by the members to follow their head, their, their lead, instead of the other way around. It should be under the guidance of the priest. The spiritual director nila, nila-assign ang obispo, uy, sila ang mag-direct, sila ang mag-lead. Hmm. Instead, ang pare ang mag sa kanila. Telling the priest that he must have faith in the visionary. Kailangan may pananampaday ka father sa aming visionary. They tell him that this, his doubts regarding the visionary are the same as doubting God himself. Hmm. Such arrogance, pride, and confusion can only come from the evil one. Hmm. Okay? Malinaw na malinaw yan. Visionary, therefore, who manifests the desire to be the center of the attention is not led by the divine spirit. Kung yung, yung visionary na matatangap ng mga messages, siya ang sentro, it is not from the divine spirit. Saints would always desire to remain hidden due to humility. This led by the evil one desire to even become a spectacle to those around, showing off. Powers and signs and wonders. Yan po. Hmm. Para sila maging popular. They are the center of attraction. No. So, delikado po yan. Father Pollen is J. asked this point question. Hmm. Important question. With regards to the mystic, has the person taken three precautions that are regarded as indispensable for the avoidance of illusions. Parang hindi tayo ma- mabiktima sa mga maling kala, illusions. Fearing to be deceived, kailangan may fear tayo na sana hindi tayo ma-deceive. Pangalawa, perfect frankness with the rectors. Perfect frankness mm, with the rectors. Mm, kailangan, eh, i- wag, kung visionary ka, ilabas mo lahat. Abstaining from desiring these revelations. Pang tatlo, kailangan i-abstain natin ito. It is clear first of all that 
to believe oneself to be safe from illusions is an excellent mm, disposition for suffering from them. Parang ma ma safe tayo sa illusion. Kailangan, no? Uh, to believe oneself to be safe from illusion is an excellent disposition. So kailangan mag abstain tayo sa desire nito. No, never be a judge of your own. Secondly, manifestation of conscience is necessary. Ano ba yung conscience mo? In such difficult matters, we must not be both judged and one of the parties concerned. The devil dissuades us from his sincerity. For, for it says, St. Ignatius, he is afraid to see his walls unmasked and he abhors such as an act of humility. Mm. Yung conscience natin, dapat linisin natin. No? In revenge, he leads us to unbosom ourselves without any reflection to friends who have no authority over us, which enables us to put their advice aside if it does not please us. On the other hand, humble souls avoid publicity as much as possible. So, kailangan yung conscience natin. No? Kung magsasalita tayo, dapat bunga yan sa ating contemplation. Hindi padalos-dalos. No? And then, makinig tayo, makinig tayo sa mga evaluation, sa mga ah, mm, kapwa natin. Kung hindi tayo makikinig, uh, manifestation of conscience is necessary. Oh, examination of conscience sa person na visionary humble souls natatakot talaga yung demonyo sa virtue of humility the desire for revelation also exposes the soul to deception so kailangan necessary po ito una, never be a judge as your own and then examination of conscience pangatlo wag mong expose ang revelation Because when you expose us, it, you know, private revelation, lalo na private revelation, into public, the soul uh, exposes to deception. It causes us to find a thousand subtleties by which to sust- uh, sustainate the visions that we believe ourselves to have had. And it excites the imagination to invite new ones. Mm. So, kailangan, hindi kailangan ikaw mag-decide. So, under the guidance of the spiritual director. So, so yung mga visionary, dapat uh, mag, mag, ano, maghanap ng mga spiritual director talaga. I would like to add other points of reference. First, one must check when and how did this supposed revelation begin. This is very important because the presence of the occult in the beginning makes it automatically from, not from God. So, saan ang galing itong revelation? No. Saan galing? Kailan nagsimula? After sa pag, uh, ano, Father, after sa pagpunta ko sa alborario, automatic, it is not from God. No. Example, uh, may example siya dito. When a person goes to Mount Banahaw and performs a ritual to get in touch with the world of spirit, suddenly an apparition of an angel appears to him. With a message, someone is partic- practicing yoga meditation or repeating a mantra and suddenly her- hears a voice claiming to be his guardian angels. Another example would be a person of science suddenly states the Blessed Virgin Mary is present and desire to give the group a message they are not definitely from God. So, unang, una natin examine, uh, kailan nagsimula yung revelation po? Mm. Kung nagsimula yung revelation after sa pagpunta sa Mount Banahaw, sa pagkasagawa niyo yung yoga, meditation, contemplation, uh, meron ng guardian angel na bubulong siya. Uh, sabi dito, these are not definitely from God. Pangal- uh, pangalawa, to discover whether the person, it is all about the person, center on the person. This is the, the first point in discerning private revelation po. Second, is to discover whether the person of the visionary is psychic or in occult terms, has a third eye. Kung meron third eye, lumabas ka na dyan. Nakikita ko yung mga maitim na diwindi, maputi dito, op- open po yung occult third eye. Demons can easily manifest themselves to such people and of course easily appear as a divine being. Hmm. 
Pwede nila i-imitate si Mama Mary, i-imitate si ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Pwede. Okay. Hmm. So, mag-ingat talaga. So, punta naman tayo. So, kailangan ha. Una, moral person. Uh, tumutubo ba yung grasya niya? And then, uh, so, kung may pride, it is a mark of jabolical uh, in origin. Na arrogance. No? Yan ang pinaka-importante. Siya ba ang sentro sa mga messages? So, na yung Panginoon ay nakik na. So, yan po ang una. Kailangan uh, the, the the center of the inquiry is sent, uh, the, the, the the inquiry is centered on the, the the person of the visionary or the mystic. The second uh, the second uh, basic guidelines ito yung pangalawa is The second point of inquiry, the first point is of inquiry is the person. The second point of inquiry is the has to do with the manner of communication. Paano ito kinukommunicate? According to Father Pauline SJ, if a person receives locution and vision and we examine all the detailed circumstances that accompany them, Do we find the dignity and gravity and propriety in keeping the divine majesty? Hmm. Lack of strain and self-control that are unworthy even of people who are merely rational or well-off, well-brought up. So, unang-una, mga kapatid, examine natin yung, ano, yung gravity sa revelation. Hmm. Mabigat ba ito with uh, solemnity? May solemnity ba ito? Grandeur. God, our God is a God of absolute grandeur, beauty, dignity, solemnity, majesty. Without it, magtaka ka na. Ngayon. Sabi dito, it, I would give an example a spectator in attendance. Well, a supposed visionary is receiving locutions. As he watches the gestures and words of the supposed visionary, what does he feel? Hmm, kailangan po ito. What does he feel? What are the movements of his heart? Kailangan, the movement of his heart. What does he feel? If this is disquiet, confusion, and easy, and comfortability, then this is not a good sign. Kung, oh, mahirapan siya suminga. And then, hmm, biglang lang sisigaw. It is not from God. Hmm. This quiet, confusion, and easiness, and comfortability. O oh, yun. Sisigaw. Ganon. <laughs> hmm. So, emotionalism and sensi- sensationalism present are also not good signs. Yung, grabe yung emotion, mga kapatid. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yun, emotionalism yon And then, yung binibroadcast pa, sensationalism. Uh, you look for public sympathy. Bawal po yon It is not a good sign. Another example is that if supposed visionary moves and acts indecent, indecent and improper, inappropriate ways while in ecstasy, uh, parang sumasayaw na ng, ano, disco. <laughs> <laughs> in decent and inappropriate ways while in ecstasy. Yun po. Delikado po yun. Our God, uh, the visions cannot be of God. It is not of God. Mm. Be of God. Our God is a God of absolute order. Mm. Grandeur, dignity, and solemnity, and majesty. Mm. Ganda, no? Mag-ingat din tayo dahil may tinatawag na sodo ecstasy. There is what we call sodo ecstasy outwardly. Parang nawawala na sa sarili. Ganon. Delikadong delikado po yun. Okay? Nasa pangalawa na tayo ha. Pangatlo po ito. May tatlong ano po tayo. Ngayon, mga kapatid, hmm. wala sa sarili, ha? 
Meron din siya tawag na pseudo ecstasy. Outwardly, it may seem like an ecstasy of the saints. May ecstasy, may divine ecstasy din. Hmm. Pero itong pseudo ecstasy, patuloy tayo. It is merely a trans state. Mawala ka sa sarili mo. Ah! Ano bang ginagawa ko kanina? So, misigaw ka. Nag, uh, ano ka ng iba't ibang mga salita? Ganun ba? Hindi ko yun alam ha. Yun po. Sodo ecstasy. It is not a divine ecstasy. Ano yung sodo ecstasy? According to Father Pauline SJ, the devil can produce alienation of the sensible faculties trying to con- counterfeit the divine ecstasy. We saw this with the story of Sister Magdalena of the Cruz. Ano yung ano? Alienation of sensible faculties. Mawala ka sa sarili mo. Ah! Ganon. Ano ba yung sinasabi ko? Hindi mo alam. <laughs> yan. Hindi <laughs> ka ano po yan. Divine. Kung ang divine ecstasy po, hmm, natuloy tayo ha. Dahil, ina-alibrate yan sa pangatlong point po. Hmm, about divine ecstasy. Okay. Mag-ingat po tayo ha. Uh, Sodo ecstasy po. Mag-ingat po. Mawala sa sarili. Yung divine ecstasy, mga kapatid, hindi mawala yung sensible faculties mo. Ang ating lower faculties, mga senses, hindi mawala po. Hmm. Kung mawala, delikado po yan. It, it is a sodo ecstasy. It is a sodo gifts. It is a sodo charism. It is a sodo healing. Di ba? Hmm. Grabe. Yung mga santo is divine ecstasy. Hindi mawala yung kanilang sensible faculties. Nandyan pa din kanilang uh, sensibility. Kanilang senses. Nandyan pa rin. Mm-mm. Father Francis Manugas. Shout out sa Mual Bual. Nanood sa atin ngayon. Salamat po. Uh, patuloy tayo. I-recognize ko muna yung mga star senders natin sa gabing ito. Si Patrick, ano yung una? Si Patrick Kabasan. Nagpadala sa atin ng 530 stars. Wow! Salamat Mm, kapatid na Patrick at si pangalawa si Sheila Beto mm, lagi ito <laughs> at si Maria Sarmento 200 stars mm, si Ron Icon Discolor the second 100 stars salamat po si Ruth Dila Serna mm, 100 stars si Flora Aracon Bungalos 100 stars si Ami da, da, mm, da Cuba na Elga 100 stars si Maria Martin Cornopio lagi ito Walang absent. 100 stars. Si Lynn Tampao. 150 stars. Si Army Parajes. No. 50 stars. Si Midwife Eva Lanzo Eliorga. Ilo Riaga. No. 10 stars. So, maabot ng 1,000. Hmm. So, 1,500 no? yung stars niyo Salamat po sa inyong lahat. At mamaya, babasahin ko muli yung mga regular star senders natin. Okay? Wala. Okay. So, <laughs> patuloy tayo. A second point is this. As was mentioned, God communicates... Revelation only through locution and vision. There's no other way. So, kung ang Diyos ay mag-communicate mm, sa atin, sa manner of communication, kailangan natin na uh, examine no? So, hindi through, ano, pseudo ecstasy, nang trans tayo. Patuloy tayo. There is no other way. Here in our country, we have many who claim to have received divine revelation from God. By merely focusing on the manner of communication, we are able immediately to say that they are, and they cannot be of God. Why? Because of the manner of communication is occult in nature. Kung occult in nature yung ano mo, yung uh, mode of communication mo, ah, magduda ka na, magduda ka na. It is not from God. It is, it is easy to see that what is occurring is medium, mediumship. Ito po, ito po, medium, medium ship. Ito po ang pinaka uh, mood of communication sa kaaway natin. So, mag-ingat po tayo. Okay. Medium has been called by many names. 
sets as oracle, soothsayer, channeler. Mm. To define mediumship, it is a communication while in trance to non-physical entities. Non-physical entities. Mga kaluluwa, mga espirito. The medium falls under the control of a spirit. Bawala siya sa kanyang sarili. And delivers messages from the other side. Hmm. Yun po ang medium. So, kung papasok na yung spirito, yung spirito na nakapasok, hmm, mag-control na sa katawan ng isang medium. Hmm. Magpakilala yung spirito na anghel, magpakilala na uh, santo, magpakilala ng Diyos. Ako ang Diyos Ama, ako ang Diyos Anak, ako ang Diyos Espiritu Santo. Mag-ingat po kayo niyan, ha? Hmm. Medium po yan, din napita ninyo. Okay. Wherein the person's consciousness is displaced by another consciousness from the spirit world. And the spirit uses the channeler's body. Channeler's body. Especially the voice box. Hmm. Parang voice box. No? Or his hands. for autom- automatic writing no magsusulat yan ito bigla lang siyang magsulat ang ganda pa ng kanyang hand uh, writings delikado po yan medium ship po yan okay the voice and gestures of the channeler suddenly changes during this temporary possession to that of the entity In the Philippines, we notice mediumship very much alive. So, mag-iingat tayo mga kapatid na. Maraming magagalit natin dito, no? <laughs> no okay lang. Dapat isiwalat natin ang katutuhanan mga kapatid. No? Patuloy tayo mga kapatid, ha? <laughs> Nasa pangalawa pa tayo sa manner of communication. The second point is inquiry on the manner of communication. The first point is The, the the first point is the inquiry of center on the person the visionary okay patuloy tayo especially with regard to some community supposed devoted to Santo Nino neither god nor a divine being throughout salvation history even ever took over the body the lips first speaking as is seen mm, as mediums or the hands for writing as we see in the new age automatic writing so yung mga new age no ang isa sa mga nag-promote nito mga kapatid na automatic writing hindi pala galing sa Dios yon no of the person of the communicate uh, to communicate extraordinarily to the faithful all true mystics and visionaries continue to retain their reason with their personalities intact hindi sila nawala sa sarili niya Yung mga, ano, yung mga, yung mga banal, yung mga mystic, St. Faustina, St. Margaret, uh, Alacoque, hindi na wala sa sarili nila. No? Mali- uh, true mystics and visionaries continue to retain their reason. Ito pa, conscious sila. Mm-mm. Yung iba na wala. <laughs> delikado po yun. Delikado, delikado po yun. <coughs> okay. Uh, with their personalities intact hindi na wala sa sarili when they experience extraordinary mystical experiences even though they experience mystical experiences hindi sila nawala yung senses nila hindi nawala yung reason nila nawa, hindi nawala yung personalities nila intact na intact po the bible itself was written while the evangelist where full use of their reason. Hindi na wala yung mga apostol. No? <laughs> Nagsusulat si apostol John na wala sila sa sarili. Hindi. Mm. The following are the relevant, relevant scripture passages as well as a few church documents na nagpatunay uh, na hindi dapat tayo lalapit sa mga medium. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. Do not go to mediums for you will be defiled by them. I, the Lord, am your God. Malino na malino po yan. Okay? Uh, take note, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. Second uh, Bible text. Should anyone turn to mediums and follow their wanton ones, ways, wanton 
wanton ways, I will turn against such a one and cut him off from his people. Ah, oh, grabe. No, kapatid. So, Leviticus chapter 20 verse 6 yan. Malinaw na malinaw. Na ang Diyos ay uh, direct to the point. Categorically no. Answered, responded, categorically no. Not to go to uh, mediums. Punta naman tayo sa CCC. Catechism of the Catholic Church 2116. Consulting horoscopes. Uy, katula. Kasali pa lang horoscopes. No? Sa mga... Nanawagan tayo sa mga... Laging nagbabasa ng mga horoscope. Ang ating simbahan sabi, malinaw na malinaw yung sabi ng simbahan dito. Ha? Mm-hmm. Eh, pasalamat tayo ni Sister Mila na pinala sa atin ng $9 sa ating live sa YouTube channel natin. Back to back live natin dito. Nindot uminaw sa imong live, Father. While working po, nice kaayo ang imong gibasa na si Janine. So... Uh, maganda ito dahil yung babasahin ko ay doon din i-share ko sa inyo para ma-retain sa akin. No? So, tatlo po yung points how to examine to help us to aid us in discerning private revelation po. Tatlo po yan. Okay. Horoscopes at I am reading the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Astrology, palm reading, interpretation of omens. Oh, palm reading ha? Astrology. Yung binabatay na natin yung buhay natin sa mga between. Sa lang, hindi, po mag- hindi maganda yon Palm reading, interpretation of omens. Mm. And lots, yung pag... Uh, oh, related lang ito. The phenomena of clairvoyance. Mm, mga manghula. And recourse to mediums. Malinaw na malitaw. Recourse to mediums. All conceal or decipher power over time, history, and in the last analysis... Other human beings, as well as a wish to conciliate hidden powers, they uh, they contradict the honor, respect, and loving fear that we owe to God alone. Malinaw na malinaw yan, kapatid. So, patuloy tayo. Never owe the exorcist to give any credence to the devil if the latter maintains that he is the spirit of some saint or of a deceased party or even claims to be a good angel. Yung papasok sa katawan. Rule number 14 of the Roman ritual of exorcism pertaining to the person whose bodies have been taken over by the Spirit. Delikado po yun. Hindi po yun galing sa Diyos. Si Renato Itchavia, uh, uh, Senior, Father, mayang gabi, pwede ko makapalit o oh, Catholic Deliverance Prayer, Father, from Tanga Sambuanga City po. Pwede po. Um, punta kayo sa ano? Sa... Uh, punta kayo sa St. Paul's, no? sa mga mall. Okay? Now, punta naman tayo. Channel yun. So, dito naman tayo sa Oracle. Mayroong biblical, uh, may biblical, ano, passages itong Oracle. It is related to mediums. Soothseer, uh, uh, Oracle, and Channeler. Yun po ay mediums. Now, an Oracle which is basically similar to the to a Channeler is another type of medium. So, tatlo pala ito. Medium, Soothseer, Oh, channeler. Pero hindi nilambrit niya dito yung soothsayer. It is a method of divination which was popular in ancient Greece and Roman. Uh, in Rome, the deities are consulted for, for political and military advice uh, through human medium who, while in a trans possession, oh, trans mawala sa sarili, allows the entity to speak Uh, hindi lang po ito sa mga albularyo ha pati na sa mga religious organization during sa kanilang ano um, baptism of the spirit kung mawala ka at nagtrans ka hindi yan galing sa Diyos po hindi yan galing sa Diyos okay so magingat po kayo mm-hmm. so military advice to human medium who while a trans possession allows the entity to speak These oracles during the time when the known world was still pagan, an enemy were known as Sibyls. Sibyls. They were women priestesses, mga pari ng babae, who resided in caves. So, doon na nanahan sa uh, uh, kweba, believed to be the thrones of the deities. Yung kweba ay may mga 
uh, nanirahan ng mga Diyos. Mm, mga Diyos. The most famous place was located in Delphi, Athens. Mm. In Delphi, the priestess was called uh, Phytoness. Mm. And she was a medium. She resided with snakes. Oh, kaya pala tinatawag na Phyton. Mm. <laughs> uh, maraming, maraming mga ahas. Uh, maraming siyang alagang ahas. Which are symbols of prophecy and wisdom. Ano da yon yung mga ahas? Symbols of prophecy and wisdom. The following narrative found in Acts of the Apostle chapter 16 verse 16 to 19. Mm-mm. tayo. Mm, is an encounter between St. Paul and or oracular medium named Python, Pythoniza. Mm. We see very clearly that St. Paul knew that the medium was possessed by a demon. He was not deceived even though the soothsayer, hmm, soothsayer pala ito, who was proclaiming only positive things about the po- the apostle. So, in, uh, in-appreciate niya yung mga apostol. Hmm. In-appreciate niya. As we were going to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl with an... Uh, oracular spirit who used to bring a large profit to her owners to her fortune tilling so itong soothsayers mga manghula fortune tilling telling she began to follow paul and us shouting these people are slaves of the most high god oh, nag-appreciate pa who proclaim to you a way of salvation she did this for many days paul became annoyed Galit si San Pablo. Turn and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out at that moment when her owner saw that their hope of profit mm, hindi na sila magkapira, was gone. They seized Paul and Silas and dragged them to the public square before the local authorities. So, magingat po. So, una, the mode of communication kung ang mode of communication ay Oh, oh, cold po. Uh, mag, lumabas na kayo dyan. So, third, the last one, mga kapatid. The last one. Last one na po. <laughs> Natulog na tayo. The third point of inquiry has to do with the revelation itself. Yung mensahe na. So, focus na. Uh, the inquiry is focus. The, the third point of inquiry has to do with the revelation itself. So, yung mga mensahe na. Focus na sa mensahe, mga kapatid. Okay? Nanood natin. So, <laughs> Hindi ko ma-ano lahat ha, hindi ko ma-greet lahat dahil ang daming nag-comment. Good evening Father Darwin, si Shara Orego at si Juliet Piti, uh, Pitiros Maghanoy. Good evening Father, saan po pwede makapabless of salt and oil? Sa pari ninyo, at kahit kung di mag-bless yung pari ninyo, may online blessing tayo every Sunday, na 8pm to 10pm. Abangan nyo po ako dyan. Uh, mm sa priest din or Sunday may online may, may, may pari din di ba? kung yung mga pari natin mag-bless as long as they use the the Roman rituals so malapit na tayo matapos mga kapatid last na lang po ito okay so focus po sa ano uh, si Shidon nagpadala ng 50 stars salamat po at ano focus tayo sa messages uh, kailangan mga kapatid sabi dito Si Father Pauline S.J. asked a question, Is the revelation is in full accord with doctrines and teachings of the Church and also with undoubted pronouncement of history and sciences? Mm. So, hindi contradictory sa science. Hindi contradictory sa, sa, uh, sa dogmas and the teachings of the Church. So, kailangan okay, i-examine natin yung mensahe niya, hindi ba contradiction sa, ano, sa teaching ng simbahan. Mm-mm. Yan ang consider. Mm-mm. Revelation that contradict the dogmas and teachings, yung mga minsahe na contradictory sa teaching, of the church can never be of God because He will never contradict His own church, which is His body. Hmm, hindi pwede mag-contradict siya sa simbahan. Hmm. The author adds that the devil can refrain himself for a time. So, pwede nga gagawa yung demonyo. He can give himself an appearance of judge of your own Yan ang kinakailangan natin. 
And my example siya dito. The author then makes a comparison in stating that the devil resembles those gamblers, yung sugarol, who intend to cheat. Mm, may desire na, ano, uh, linglangin ka. They begin by making their opponents win that they may afterwards make them lose ten times as much. So, una, magpa, ano pa sila? Magpa, talo-talo. Pero oh, ikaw din naman talo sa huli. Ten times. No, mag-ingat po. Yung mga online games, di ba? Uh, nung una ay mananalo ka. Ang ganda. Ang laki kung ano. Ang laki ng... Ang ano ko. Ng... Napanalunan ko. <laughs> Pero mag-ingat ka. So, sunod na araw, dudubli yung talo mo. <laughs> so... Is the information received useful for our eternal salvation? So, yan ang tanong. Yung minsahi ba? Useful ba? Sa aking kaligtasan? We can be sure that the revelation are not divine when their subject is simply acquisition of ordinary matters that are of no use to souls. Kung ordinary lang na minsahi, para saan? Hmm, magrosaryo ka. Well, nag-business naman. Redundant? <laughs> hmm, redundant? Yan ang minsahi sa mga mamamaris. Ano? God does not go out of His way merely to satisfy curiosity. For the sake of curiosity, mag-iingat po kayo. It is with revelation as with miracles. They do not occur without serious motive. Kung totoo na milagro yan, totoo na mi, uh, kung totoo na uh, kung totoo na minsahe, gihaling sa Diyos niyan, there should be a serious motive. Uh, there are works not of only of God's power, but of His wisdom. Hindi basta-basta yun. Kung mag-message ang Diyos sa inyo, magbigay ng minsahe sa inyo, hindi redundant. Hindi ordinary message. Kundi, may gravity talaga. Mabigat. Hmm. Revelation regarding its spiritual gravity. May spiritual gravity talaga. Katulad yung St. Faustina, yung 3 o'clock prayer. Ang ganda yun. St. Bernadette at Lourdes are not only on a very serious nature, but as well as measured to the point. Example, kung uh, there are no wasted or superfluous words. Parang maraming mga uh, superfluous words na ginagamit. If suppose visionary gives messages, ano lukat ang luto? Wag ka maniwala doon. <laughs> that the focus of maybe finding treasure. Yes, we have a number of these cases in our office and their source is not divine. Okay? Mm, yung Diyos ang mm, may ari sa lahat and then magpakita lang siya, magturo ng treasure. <laughs> Maging ano ka? Maging uh, treasure hunter ka na. No? Si Linita Bayuna, nagpadala sa atin ng 10 ED. E, no, salamat po, kapatid. Salamat sa mga star cinders natin. Si Mel Fidakan, nagpadala ng 10 stars. Si Ambrose Sabino, um, 50 stars. Si kapatid Jorkid uh, Quitazol, 10 stars, si Zaidon, 50 stars, si Yang Yang, 100 stars, ay salamat po. Hmm. Father, kailangan bag exercise ang mo-bless sa sacramentals? Hindi kailangan, kailangan pare. Hmm. Okay, patuloy tayo. Lapit na tayo, dalawang page na lang. Ang um, ating ano, hmm. the church as a rule, as a rule does not make any formal pronouncement. When the revelation is still continuing, so kung hindi pa natatapos ang mensahe, hindi magbigay ng final say ang simbahan. Dahil kung magbigay siya in the middle of the messages, no, hindi pa natatapos yung mensahe, and then at the end, uh, heretical yung mensahe. So, imagine if the church approved an operation and the last message was heretical in nature. So, so quoting, Father Uh, Paul and he asked, have the revelation stood the test of time and scrutiny? So, so malaking, ano, uh, malaking oras ang igugul natin at panahon, hindi tayo magmadali. So, simbahan na hindi nagmamadali, mga kapatid. Without this condition, the favorable judgment that may have been passed upon them, 
are not a sufficient guarantee. We must allow events to unfold themselves and wait the pronouncement and opinion until the vision has announced that the series has come to an end. So any spiritual fruit from the revelation must be enduring, not only be found in the beginning. Hindi lang magal- ma- maganda sa simula. Enduring, uh, enduring yung effect sa messages ng... Okay. Another point that must be stated has to do with revelation that has to do with revealing the vices of sins. Okay, ito po din, no? Uh, i-reveal yung mga kasalanan ng ano. Sabi ni Saint John of the Cross, hmm, God sometimes represents to holy souls the necessities of their neighbors that they may pray for them and relieve them. Reviewing this statement of the saint, we can say that God may reveal the sins of others Pwede i-reveal ng Panginoon yung kasalanan ng taong ito not to destroy his reputation. Hmm, ano? But they may reveal only to holy souls and we may say living saints whose prayers and sacrifices can bring real benefit to the sinner. We can also be certain that there, these sins are never be made public by the saints since this would be a sin. So hindi din nila uh, ipahiya uh, yung may kasalanan. Pero, on the other hand, the saints adds, the devil is wont occasionally to reveal falsely, but with great distinctness, the sins of others, evil consciences, corrupt souls, with a view to detraction. Detraction. So, ano ang purpose ng demonyo? No. Kung... <laughs> Kung reveal yung mga kasalanan ng isang tao, ipahiya. It is uh, for the sake of the detra- uh, the detraction. Mm, the devil is accuser, hence in exorcism he may blurt out the unconfessance of those persons. Which so, supposedly Jesus or divine being revealed to him that person is not led by the divine spirit. We saw an example of Sister Magdalene of the Cross. So mga kapatid, mag-ingat po tayo mga kapatid ha. Kung meron kang samahan na grupo and then i-reveal yung kasalanan mo and then <laughs> hindi maganda po yun. So, yung mga santo, hindi uh, though may revelation ng Diyos na yung kasalanan, katulad ni St. John Maridian, eh, uh, alam niya yung kasalanan ng tao. Bakit hindi mo no confess? Hmm. will lead them to conversion. It is a, a, a great spiritual benefit sa mga makasalanan. Hindi ipahiya yung mga makasalanan po. Okay? So, yan po ang uh, three points in discerning private revelation whether from God or from uh, demon or from themselves. Tatlo po yun eh. Pwede from sa Panginoon, pwede sa demonyo o pwede gawa-gawa mo lang. <laughs> so, this is now very helpful mga kapatid to discern the spiritual and private revelation po. Mga locutions, mga messages, na matanggap mo through bulong, through vision and uh, dreams. So una, na uh, kailangan the moral the morality of the person, the spiritual growth of the person. It is all about the spiritual growth and morality of the person. Pangalawa, examine natin the mode of communication, the manner of communication or kung galing yun sa sa mga occult in nature, eh, hindi yun galing sa Dios. Pangatlo, the revelation itself. No, may gravity ba yung mga mensahe? Kung wala, ordinary lang, huwag kang makinig. Mm. So, yan po ang tatlong punto to help us more uh, uh, vigilant and more uh, watchful sa mga unclean spirits who are deceiving spirits. So, yan lang sa muna mga kapatid at maraming salamat sa mga star senders natin na laging nagdadala ng mga stars. At greetings lang tayo sa mga ilan, no? Uh, mag-review ko tomorrow, Father. Matulog na ko kay sakit ka kung ulo ni si Liyahon Anili. Si Romel Parma, good evening, Father. At sa lahat, no? salamat din. At is sweet uh, Kamache, good evening, Father. Watching from Pitugo, Sambuanga po. Uh, salamat sa inyong maraming nunood natin sa YouTube channel at sa Facebook page din natin. Sa kanyang sarili lang yan, Patricia Jimenez. Sakto, Jude Father, ang saon man ni pagkawala ning mm, hindi natuloy no 
Si April Ko, Amin na Elga, good night. Sheila Bito, si Miles Obs, Basi is watching. Si Mini Husayan, good evening po. Si Nomi Silahis, no, from Singapore. Si Yang Yang from Dubai, oh, wow. Si Abner Rizaga, nanood sa atin. Si Mary Lawrence uh, Gisolga. Si Mary Irene Arulak, uh, of Your Love and Care. Si Melanie Hernandez, good uh, Mm, si Malet Hipanao nanood sa atin si Lilibet Dimiterio is watching si Philly Jasmine Bautista so salamat po sa inyong lahat mga kapatid so magdasang tayo sa huling prayer natin with Saint Michael the Archangel mga kapatid in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Saint Michael the Archangel defend us in battle and be our protection against the wickedness The snares of the devil, may God rebuke him. We humbly pray, O thou, O do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, with the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Fight thee, Maria, that accept thee with a humble heart. God bless.